Hi there, and welcome to this Cheese Science Toolkit educational video all about the chemistry of cheese color. This is part three and the final part about our series of cheese color, and today we'll be talking a bit about annatto, and what causes cheeses to be orange. And I have an example of a cheese right here. This is the red rock, as I've talked about before in our previous cheeses, uh, previous videos rather. And this cheese is really orange. They had a lot of annatto. And what annatto actually is, is a, uh, a plant in a way. It's a little, these little red seeds. Um, sometimes you can grind these up and have them as spice. They're common in South American and Central American and Mexi Mexican cuisine in some cases. And cheesemakers aren't, at least nowadays, aren't just adding these seeds directly into the into the vat when they're making the cheese into the milk. They're not just at sprinkling seeds in the milk. They're using something called annatto extract. And what they do is they take this annatto and they do a bunch of treatments to it in order to change the pigments in it to a form that's more useful to them. Uh, because starting out, that main red color in annatto, that orange color that they're after, is called Bixen. Here's a structure of Bixen. And for those paying attention at home, you may remember that we talked about this alternating double bond structure. You have two bonds here, one bond here, two bonds here, one bond here, two bonds here. This every other structure, also called conjugation, usually means that's going to have a color. And sure enough, Bixen does have a color. It's that orange we're used to seeing. And this is what the compound is directly from the seed. The problem with this is it's fat soluble, like we've discussed before. And milk is mostly water. And if you try to add straight Bixen to, wa to milk, which is mostly water, it won't mix well. You'll get a, an orange film on the top of your vat of milk. You want that to mix in thoroughly. So what the annatto producers have to do, the annatto extract producers of the world have to do, is convert that Bixen into a water soluble form so you can add it to milk. And what they, how they do that is usually you treat it with something uh, like an alkali kind of substance, an alkali substance, something like a strong base, like sodium or potassium hydroxide. And what that does is convert that Bixen into a substance called Norbixen. If you pay close attention, the only really thing that's changed is this this group at the edge over here. And what that got changed to was just this, it's called a carboxylic acid group. But this basically means that now it can dissolve into water much easier. It can dissolve in the milk. And that's really all that is going on here. Both of these have that really strong orange color that you'll get over here from this cheese. And that's really all you need to know about that. Um, this is going to be a pretty short video. That's really all I had to talk about annatto. Um, there might be a follow-up talking more about its applications, but that's all for now. Thanks again for watching.